All right, so I'm going to be breaking down a hand here on Ignition Poker, playing some 2-5 No Limit. Now, as I'm going over this hand, if you guys are free to online poker sites to get started with, we'll have some bonus and sign-up links in both the description and comments. Also, if you could smash a like button, I would definitely appreciate it. Okay, so the hand I'm going to be going over here was Pocket Jacks. I was in the big blind, and this was a really strange hand. And honestly, like, I couldn't figure out why, you know, player three played the hand he the way he did it was just really weird anyways we're gonna have player three limp into it you know sitting in the big blind with any pocket pair is always you know really nice so you know i'm not complaining about you know the hand obviously right it's just that we got into a kind of a weird situation here and it was totally unexpected and honestly this was just bad poker i mean it was completely just bad poker i mean that's really all i can say about it now Slow playing big pocket pairs in six max cash games, never really a good idea, honestly. It, it just, it usually doesn't pay too well. Um, I mean, you could try it every once in a while, I guess, but player three, um, you know, he's the guy we're gonna be going up against here and he just kind of like slow played a pretty big hand and it was just super confusing to me because honestly, he had, you know, the buy-in for the stakes we were playing here was 500 bucks. If he shoved all in, I mean, I'm insta-calling whatever he's got, you know, with pocket jacks. So, you know, it's just, uh, it's just a really strange way to play this hand. And um, like I said, feel free to comment below if you want to, like, chime in on this one uh, or you just want to say anything about it. I just thought it was pretty weird. Now, I do play a lot of two five no limit. I've kind of been sticking to two five and one two a little bit more lately, but I do play five ten. Um, I've just been getting wrecked lately playing five ten. I don't know what it is. I've had some pretty down days. Uh, you know, obviously I've had some good days too, but you know, five ten no limit, you know, trying to two table it. I've been getting wrecked a little bit more. So, you know, I've been playing a lot more two five and one two. Okay, so it's finally coming around here to player six, and he's just kind of, you know, try to limp in to see his, uh, whatever his small blind is. But I got to juice the pot, man. We got pocket jacks. I'm definitely going to juice it up, raise it up to, you know, at least 25, 30 bucks. I think that's what I did here. Oh, I'm sorry. Player six raised it to 30 bucks. Okay, so I insta called here. And to be honest with you, I could have maybe re-raised this too, but this guy was in the small blind. So he was trying to say he had like a good hand. So, I mean, it is what it is. I think either way is fine, you know, re-raising or just calling. Now, what was really bizarre about this hand was after a player three limped into it, he decided to re-raise it up to 55 bucks after limping into this hand. So I was just like, what? It didn't make any sense to me, right? Because... The guy had a hundred bucks, you know, it's kind of like, like I said, if he would have just shoved all in pre-flop and whatever, you know, I would have made the call. Okay. It was not a terrible flop for pocket jacks. I mean, there are, you know, some straight and flush draws out there, but you know, in this spot, um, I mean, I'm calling basically any bet, a big all in from like player six, I'm probably not, but you know, player three, I'm definitely calling this hand down all day. Okay, anyways, I put in a bet here to see where these guys were at. Not like a huge bet, 56 bucks. Felt like it was the right amount. Okay, so player three gets it all in here. Player six gonna is gonna end up folding and like this just blew my mind. Like, I just could not figure this, why this guy played this hand this way. You know what I mean? It was just so bizarre. So as soon as player six folds, you guys are going to see what he's got. And it was kind of like, it was, it was just really frustrating, right? So he had pocket aces. The guy limped into the hand pre-flop. We did hit some outs on the turn. I mean, quite a bit of outs, honestly, like 12 outs. Uh, but there was a king on the river and we didn't get there. Anyways, you know, we just dealt with, uh, you know, like a pocket aces versus pocket jacks situation. I just thought that guy played the hand so terribly. I felt like he should have lost it just because of that. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed another, uh, you know, poker video here. If you could uh, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more poker content. And we'll see you in the next poker video.